Well, it's springtime, and here at Growing Wisdom, we are talking annuals. We're here with Terry Valenti. I'm Dave Epstein. And Terry, let's talk about annuals for the shade, but first, let's define what is shade. Exactly. Usually, the first question we ask when people come in looking for a plant is, do you have sun or shade? And usually, a shady location is one that gets half a day of sun or less, and that includes areas with filtered sunlight. And when you get a half a day of sun, if it's morning sun that isn't quite as intense, um, that would be a great location for a shade plant. However, if it's afternoon sun when the, when the sun is really beating down on the plants, you'd want more of a sunny, sunny plant to go there. Why don't you tell me some of the plants that you find are most successful in shady locations? And we'll talk hangers as well as just if you're putting in containers. Hanging baskets in the shade, you have a lot of choices. There are impatiens and fuchsia and begonias that'll all do really well in a shady location and they all come in many colors. When someone's looking for an annual for the shade, do you help them with choosing color and what do you base that on? Absolutely. Usually it starts with what color is your house or what color is you know, the fence that it'll be near or something like that. From there we kind of go along that route and just kind of show them all the different colors that we have available and see what they like the best. Are there other things that go well in with the shade plants that would make a nice mixed basket? There are plenty of other things you can mix in for your shade combinations. Um, another annual to mix in would be terenia, which is a beautiful trumpet-shaped flower that kind of cascades over the pot. Um, other options as well are coleus, which come in a variety of different heights and sizes and colors and patterns. A couple things from the perennial area that you could also put in your pots would be heuchera or lamium or things like that, like Jacob's Ladder and stuff like that, that would really add a nice texture and color to your pot. So Terry, tell me a little bit about what type of soil you might use in a shade container. And also I'd like to know about watering and fertilizer. The key is to use a very lightweight potting mix in your containers. And as far as watering goes, the shade plants are actually pretty easy because they require a little bit less water um, since the sun isn't hitting them all day. As far as fertilizing goes, I would recommend using a slow release fertilizer and putting that right in the pot right when you plant it and that will carry you through the summer. But I would also recommend using a liquid fertilizer once every other week also throughout the summer. What about pinching or pruning? during the course of the year. That's very important. No matter if, if you're planting in the sun or shade, you want to take off all the dead blooms and that'll promote more blooming. All right, Terry, thank you. I think that folks here will have a much better idea of what a shade annual is and how to grow them. And we appreciate you watching this video here at Growing Wisdom.